Major concerns tonight about the city's response to this morning's deadly shooting near City Hall. Shortly after 7:30, somebody shot and killed a man near a bus stop right across the street from City Hall. City council members are now wondering why city staff weren't told until two hours after all of this happened. Sayed Shabir now has the city's response. Moments after the deadly shooting near City Hall, police swarmed the area, blocked off roads, and quickly caught the shooter. Still, there are some major concerns about how long it took the city manager's office to inform the city staff of the situation. Unfortunately, that had, didn't occur probably until two hours later. Heck yeah, I'm concerned, and, and everybody should, should be concerned as well. Councilman Jermaine Reed said an email or text message should have been sent as soon as possible. He voiced his concerns at the Public Safety Committee meeting. I'm concerned about our employees. Mike Schumacher, assistant to the city manager, responded. There was a brief discussion this morning. What do we need to do? The suspect's been arrested. He's in custody. Um, the, the situation, if you will, um, had calmed. And the decision at that point in time was not to take it further. Councilman John Sharp also wasn't satisfied with that decision, saying city employees were left wondering. I, I think it's still important to have official communications to our employees so they know the real situation and you don't have a lot of uh, rumors going around. Now the city spokesperson, Chris Hernandez, said he appreciates Councilman Reed's concern but stood by the decision that no immediate communication was needed. The city manager sent out a final email to the staff about five hours after the shooting, giving details.